First of all, before we begin today, I would like to apologize for the lack of videos in recent days. That's because I've had a cold, my nose was blocked up, and my, uh, my throat was full too, so it just wouldn't have sounded really pretty. Heck, you can probably notice that I still have it right now, but I'm feeling well enough to uh, make a video without uh, sounding like a complete idiot. So, uh, now... There is still one last thing that's left to do as a pumpkin. First, you want to head out on that little walkway here. And I do mean little. You gotta be careful because uh, it, it's more common in Banjo-Tooie, but in Banjo-Kazooie there are very few areas that actually have bottomless pits, and this is one of them. So, we have to tread really carefully not to lose a life to sheer stupidity. Anyway, Brantilda's here, so let's hear some more secrets. Revolting Brantilda's bedroom has dirty undies hanging from the ceiling. Well, she's got weird taste in decoration. Verica plant growing in a pot beside her bed. Uh, yeah, and what do we have? Uh, you'd be sick if you saw her enormous streaky brown undies. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Skip marks much? Anyway, over by in that hole, we have Cheeto! Yet again, who's going to be giving us another cheat to go type at the Sandcastle in Treasure Trove Cove. This time, of course, if the first one was Blue Eggs, well, this one is for Double Red Feathers, so you're gonna have to type Red Feathers. Sorry for the spoiler, but it was just... You know, painfully obvious. Now, you, you might be surprised to hear that I'm not going to go there quite yet, because uh, I can get the last cheat before I enter the next world, so I'm gonna take care of that before I go there. Now, uh, as we have seen with uh, some of the previous transformations, if you go too far out in Gruntilda's lair with a transformation, it's going to revert you to uh, your regular form automatically. I didn't say he I wasn't about to say human this time, fortunately. Tootie's fate is looking grim is because her brother is dim. Why am I focusing on the text? I must be- I should be focusing on not dying here! It, it, it's just, I, I don't know, I just really love those uh, quips from Gruntilda for some reason, more than I honestly should, to be honest. And, uh, oh yeah, you can take the pumpkin all the way to the puzzle. I was wondering when Mumbo would chime in, but here we go, magic run out. So, back to regular Baron Bird we go, which is good because there's no more use for the pumpkin transformation anyway. So, uh, now... If you remember, we pressed uh, that uh, witch switch uh, in Mad Monster Mansion, and a, a G appeared in the eye of that giant statue. Uh, getting there is going to require um, using that uh, flight pad that only appears for like 12 seconds. So, yeah, last time. Uh, I think I got it uh, very quickly, but um, there's always... Another opportunity to screw it up now. So let's see. Ground pounding the switch. Here we go. And go, 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 go. Faster, faster. Oh my god. I can't see where I'm going. Camera, turn around. The camera's not listening. Oh my god. Oh. Well, that sucked. At least I have my warning now. Um. Try getting the camera over behind you before getting in that tunnel. Whoa! <laughs> that was really close. Don't know why it didn't hit me, and once again, uh... Okay. Focus. Concentrate. Here we go. Sprint shoes. Camera, behind me now. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're doing well. Doing well! You can do it! Yes! Alright! And we even did it with room to spare. So anyway, you are gonna wanna bust that eye with a beat bomb first, and then head back there and grab the jiggy. Excellent! Don't worry about the two uh, red feathers lost. Uh, we're gonna be getting a free refill thanks to the red feathers cheat code. 
Uh, but before we do that, as I said, there are a few other things I'd like to do here. If you remember, uh, at the end of the last part, we raised the water level in the area beyond this. I'm really wondering why the water isn't pouring out of the gate uh, into uh, all those rooms we've explored thus far. But I guess it's magic. We are in a witch's mansion, after all. Anyway, th uh... Now that we've raised the water level in here, uh, we can now go ahead and explore uh, what's a bit further up in this room, of course. Um, is that over there? Nah, there's no grip grab in this game, so I guess I have to climb the stairs for that. Yeah, because there is something that... Oh, great, we got some, some more sewer monsters here. But yeah, what do you want to do? You want to head over in the opposite corner of this room so that um, you can head over to that box here, bust the box open, and we're going to raise the water level yet again. So now with that, we're going to be able to enter that area you can see at the top right of the screen, which contains the puzzle for the next world, which is Rusty Bucket Bay. First, we, uh, we're we going to make a little shortcut here. This is really the lamest shortcut ever. It's like two rooms ago. It's I wouldn't say it's as fast as doing it by foot, but um, it's really a rather useless shortcut. So let's head in there. As I said, then there's the puzzle to Rusty Bucket Bay in there. I think it's right over there. Okay, I was worried for a second that uh, it was yet another one of those uh, doors that could be busted only from the other side, but fortunately that wasn't the case. Anyway, here we go. Rusty Bucket Bay, level 8 out of 9, and the hardest level in the game! Though Click Clock Wood uh, doesn't give its place, but uh, I still consider Rusty Bucket Bay to be harder, especially because of one G in particular we might do today if we have the time. We're seven minutes in, so I seriously doubt it. I'm just going to check out if there's anything over there. I really doubt it. It's um, just a grating that leads uh, into the room uh, with the Mad Monster Mansion puzzle, which was uh, right nearby. So... Now that this is done, um, no, I, 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 we're not going to Treasure Trove Cove quite yet. We're still going to go ahead and get uh, the, the third sheet. This one is actually a bit more complicated than the other two, and, and as it should be, because we're talking about a sheet that doubles the amount of precious, precious gold feathers that uh, you can carry and we're gonna and we already started using gold feathers fairly intensively but um, we're gonna kick it in overdrive in the next couple of worlds so sorry what do you what do you want to do I'm gonna head over in this area let's just see first is there anything in those okay only a gold feather and uh, this one maybe something else absolutely nothing so let's smash this and at the end of this uh, there's gonna be a switch that's going to raise the water level yet again but only for a limited time so let's bust this as you can see water levels rising up again so we have 30 seconds to get over to Cheeto who's located in an alcove in the room with the entrance to Rusty Bucket Bay so we gotta make it quick 17 seconds. We're doing well on time. All you have to do is just head back up and uh, did, did, did just loading the next area actually take up a couple seconds? If so, that's great, cheap. But then again, we still made it fairly easily. It may not look like it because it only because only three seconds were left, but um, it can be a lot tighter than that, and I did pretty much a perfect run on that. So anyway, this is the last time we'll be seeing Cheeto in this game. So he's going to give us the code for uh, the gold feathers, which is adult anime! Sorry, sorry for milking that joke for all it's worth. Of course, it's gold feathers. So now that this is done, I'm going to head back to the Sand Castle and Treasure Trove Cove and input those two codes we just got. So I'll see you guys when I make my way over there. Here we go. 
We're gonna enter these codes. I don't, I don't really know why I'm showing you myself uh, inputting those codes in the first place. It's not like you don't know how this works. Then again, this is YouTube, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if some people on this site were just this dense. Anyway, we got the H over there. Maybe I'm just showing this to you because it's a big moment, you know, actually uh, getting permanent upgrades to your stock. So now we can carry a maximum of 100 red feathers. Don't think we're going to be needing that many at one time because uh, the, mo the, the most uh, red feathers you can consume at one time is one as opposed to five in uh, Banjo-Tooie with the Talon Torpedo move. But this isn't Banjo-Tooie, so I guess, you know, 100 red feathers might come in handy in uh, the winter part of Click Clock Wood, especially if, I, uh, if I'm as pitiful against uh, the Sir Slushes as I was in... Uh, in freeze easy peak, so let's see what uh, Gruntil is gonna say now. Gold feathers, you may have 20, but bruises, you'll still get plenty. <laughs> I love Gruntilda, she's just so amazing. Here we go Rusty Bucket Bay, hardest level in the game. And we're going to be taking care of the hardest Jiggy first. So I'm not going to be focusing very much on grabbing notes, because if you remember, if I die, I lose all my notes. So, um, oh well, that's unless you're playing the Xbox Live Arcade version, as I said earlier. In that case, you get to keep the notes you grab, but not in this version. So you want to go down this hole here. Thank you. I, I, I was afraid I was going to stay stuck under it. So, there's one enemy here. Um, I'm, I'm still grabbing those notes, you know, just in case I don't die so that uh, I don't have to come back over here. So what we did is that we slowed down the those things in the main engine room. So now we're going to head over there. Oh my god. I... I don't want to do this. Fortunately, uh, there's less than three minutes left, so I don't think we're going to have enough time to uh, do the hardest part of this jiggy. But nonetheless, let me show you around uh, the the main engine room. First, here you enter through there. There are two sewer monsters. Trust me, you want to kill them both, because you're going to want to hightail it out of here as fast as humanly possible, so you want them dead when you get back here. So let's head up there, we got uh, an extra honeycomb piece, even though it's completely useless at this point in the game, still grabbing them anyway. So, this is the engine room, the most annoying room in the entire game. So let's quickly grab that mumbo token and go before it starts spinning again. Now we have spinning gears. You have to hurry the fuck up, of course, otherwise you're gonna be flung overboard and you're gonna die. Come on, I totally had that! Anyway, that thing is gonna start spinning, so we're gonna wait for it to stop. Stop! Thank you! And head over there. Now you can see there's a mumbo token over there. We can't grab it can't grab it yet because you need to do a backflip in order to reach it and there's not enough time to head over there do a backflip and get out you have to stop the engine completely which is done by pounding this switch as well as another one like it in this room as well as you can see the propellers are slowing down and there's a jiggy behind the propellers do you see what I have to do now I gotta go over there pound that other switch and then I'm gonna have I think it's a minute to head back to the rear of the ship and get that jiggy. Yeah! As you can guess, we only spent uh, uh, like a minute or two in this level and already you can see that the time limits are tighter than ever. There really is no room for a mistake. But for now, we get pretty much a free jiggy, so I'm gonna take it. I think we have a few seconds left, so I'm going to head over to the second switch. I'm not going to pound it yet, I'm going to keep that for next time, because I don't want to have the save state and then load state while the countdown is counting the seconds down to zero. So, here we are, next time.
It's going to be the maddest dash of our lives! 